Yo, hey there everybody, Joey Mesa here. Um, just thinking about this thing I saw this morning, a guy was asking on a forum if I, he had 700 by 23 or 25 tires on his uh, bike and he wanted to know if a wider, like a 700 by 28 tire would fit on the wheel. And so people were responding, yeah, it'll, you know, but basically this is, for somebody that has that question, this is my answer. Uh, so the tire, it's going to fit. Uh, 700C tires, they have a, um, as far as the, the diameter of the rim is 622 millimeters. So that's where the bead, you know, kind of basically locks in to the edge of the rim there. So um, tire-wise, they're, regardless of the width, they're all, they're all going to fit on the rim physically it's not that's not the issue the issue is is that tire combo gonna fit on your bike you know how tight is this tolerance right in here <clears throat> there's a little closer look at the front wheel uh, clearance there so this is a like I say it's a 25 700 by 25 millimeter tire so Stick that on there, actual measurement. It's coming out to about 26-ish, here over 26. Uh, so, um, you know, just looking at our, you know, our clearances in here, uh, it's pretty tight. I, I would say ideally you would want, you know, this is just a little four millimeter hex key. But you should probably, you wanna have about, that would be about an ideal clearance. You don't want to get too much more than that just because the you know the cornering or if you're front wheel or you know standing up and under power climbing a hill or something on the back wheel you're going to have some you're going to get some flex you know you can see just by moving my hand i can flex this tire around it's hitting the brake pads before the tires hitting the you know like this piece right here that sticks out on this caliper that's going to probably be the first piece that that's going to hit anything um, but just as an experiment I've got a 700 by 28 C tire so let's stick that on there and just see what it looks like all right so we got a 700 by 28 C this is the Schwalbe tire <clears throat> the actual measurement on this one inflated it actually comes out to 29.6 so, it, you know, like I say, again, it varies on the manufacturer. Some are going to be a little wider. Some are going to be a little narrower. Um, but, yeah, just looking inside of there, there's barely, you know, and if I flex that tire around, it's pretty easy to get it to, we're rubbing up against the fork there, rubbing up against the uh, fork this way, you know, if we, so, I mean, while this tire physically fits in here, honestly, personally, I wouldn't be very comfortable riding this one. You know, you get the opening in the rear on this one's a little bigger, so, you know, the tire wheel's moving this direction as you're riding, and super easy to get a little pebble or something caught up in there, and it's so close, uh, you know, that's just even standing up on it, that's gonna rub up against that fork, so I would say this particular, set up here a 25 is going to be about our max but you know it's always worth trying you know you can just look at what you've got and see how much gap you've got around and that'll give you a pretty good indication there we've got a little chart here that shows uh, basically the measurements or how rims and tires are measured in different ways uh, so you know in the first little section there that's the the industry standard uh, so there are the European Tire and Rim Technical Organization as far as the how they're going to measure uh, or, or what I feel like is the most consistent way. Um, so you got that 600, there's 37-622. So the 37 represents the width of the, the tire. And then this 622 is, that's basically the where the tire, the bead locks into the rim. So you may have tires that it's going to have that 37-622, but it also may have 28 by one point or inch and five eighths and one and three eighths. And 
that what that's representing is from the ground to the top of the tire is basically 28 inches you get your height and width of the tire which is the inch and three eighths and inch and five eighths or then you may have 700 by 35 which is the 700 is basically from the ground to the top of the tire which that's going to vary obviously with the different widths of tires and then the 35 is the width of the tire so you know that's one way that you know there that you would measurement you measure it you know the 622 would be what I would go by if you're looking for what's actually going to fit what tire will fit on your rim you know and it can be pretty confusing because you have all these sizes and um, seems to not make sense where you got you know like for example you got a 26 inch tire here six di you know there's actually six different 26 inch tires but that's going to vary widely with the bead the bead seat diameter which this is the the bead seat diameter here where the tire locks on that's what you're actually going to measure on the rim uh, so uh, you, you'll see this on you know that's technically the same size but this is the sizing that you'll see on so, you know different tires and whatnot this would be a 35c in the 700 which would fit on that first wheel that we just said but obviously that's not going to fit in the frame due to clearance issues but i mean you can see here's just kind of a basic run through list of all the different uh bead seat diameters um i'll put a link to this um this little web page here that's got a, quite a bit of uh useful info so just to circle back on the original question of well, what tire fits my wheel or what tire will fit on my bike. So if we're talking 700C or anything with a 622 millimeter B diameter, generally the tires, anything with a 622 millimeter bead seat diameter will fit wheel to wheel, tire to tire, whatever. Um, you know, within reason, you can't, you're not going to be able to put like say a three inch wide 29er tire that's the 622 millimeter B diameter on a skinny road bike wheel like this, you know, and then you're not going to be able to put a skinny road tire on a super wide mountain bike rim. But, you know, within reason, the B diameter is the same. Um, so a little more common would be, you know, can I fit a 28C on my bike that has 700 by 23? Uh, millimeter tires as of right now and yes the tires will mount on the wheels but then we're kind of in this gray area of what fits you know the wheel and tire combo as an assembly what will fit in what bike um, so this particular bike it's a little older so I think it was designed to max out at 25s um, so I'm sure guys have put 28s on them and you know you may get into that frame rub type deal like we had talked about but uh, newer bikes they've kind of you know with the disc brakes they've gone to that availability of having you know 32 35 38 millimeter wide tires which have gotten a lot more popular so anyway enough rambling on hopefully that answers the question bead seat diameter is your crucial number as far as tires to wheels and then as far as your your actual bike it's a little a little more uh, clouded so you're just going to have to take a physical measurement see what the measurement is with your existing tires and kind of go from there so anyway hopefully the video was informative and um, please consider subscribing to my channel i'm constantly putting out uh, bike related tutorial videos and other things so anyway that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time